Good morning, people of Earth. We've got another beautiful day in South Florida. The skies are clear, a little breezy, a little warm, but still gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Es nuevo el poquito. I just left this local gas station. It's called Rocket Fuel. It's got the cheapest gas in town at $2.57 for regular right now. I feel like the last three cents of my $30 took about four minutes just to get those few extra drops in. So you gotta want it if you go to Rocket Fuel. And I wanted it today. So right now we're gonna go say hello to Seabreeze. We're gonna feed her, get some clothes pressed, uh, look nice and schmancy, get the hair all done. I'm thinking about shaving, but I don't. I don't know. I kind of want to keep the beard. Then we're gonna run to my dad's place. Ella. We're gonna run to my dad's place. Uh, print out some resumes because I don't have a printer, and just distribute, distribute, distribute. I have so much garbage in my car from the last couple of chase days. Mostly in the form of water bottles. We're gonna recycle those. Caps. Money. My last paycheck. Sad. Water bottle. This is all from the dog. He drinks good. And Starbucks. Happy recycling. Did I mention what a gorgeous day it is today? So my girlfriend, Allie, who's away right now in Dallas, um, she's away for six weeks. Right now she's three and a half weeks in, two and a half to go. Can't wait for her to come home. But she has this giant pour over coffee thing, meant for like 45 people, maybe 50, I don't know, or two. We use it every morning. But since she left, I figured I'd waste a bunch of coffee doing that. And I thought I'd come up with something a little bit more personal since it's just me and I don't want to waste all that coffee. Grinder. Filter. Secondary filter. And the best stuff of them all. Not sponsored yet, but Starbucks, if you're listening, please sponsor me, I'm poor. All right, so we're just about done here. Finishing the last drops. This milk's a little bit old, but give it a good shake, it's good to go. That's what I, smells delicious. I shake my milk kind of to make it like a foamy latte. It lasts forever. Maybe just, I don't know. Science, get on that. <sighs> so hot still. I've got two more hours to get there and I still have to stop by my dad's. So I'm officially making my way to my dad's house to go print out some resumes. It's 12.30 right now. This job fair only goes until two o'clock, so I have an hour and a half. Really, I should be there right now. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it at this point. I just left my dad's place. I'm going back to my dad's place because I forgot my resumes. That was the whole purpose of going. All right, so I'm leaving my dad's. 
with my resumes this time. I think we've got everything. So I'm not gonna make it to this job fair. It's already 1.48. Instead, had a pretty long chat about some future goals, different types of careers. Um, so I'm just gonna go from there. I'm gonna go the old fashioned way. Just keep applying. Possibly get into a trade, maybe Uber. Do something, something that gives me freedom. The ability, the ability, the ability, ability, what a weird word. Ability to do whatever I love while making a living. You know what the weirdest part about this whole thing is? Shouting at your GoPro, telling it, GoPro, go capture. It just makes me feel so weird. GoPro, stop capturing. Dear God, lady, move forward. Use the pedal on the right. It's the one that goes forward. It's on your right. It's on your right. No, no, no. The right side. The right side. I hope I hope she turns off in a second. We're going so slow. Anyway, we're gonna change up the day. I'm gonna go check out the waves, see what's going on out there. When I checked this morning, there was actually a little bump. It looked rideable. If not, I'm gonna pick up Coda and we're gonna maybe do a little fishing today. Oh, thank God she's turning. Doing 19 and a 30. You can probably see the car behind me riding my butt. Good Lord, go! God, she was so old. Anyway, go pick up Coda, and we're on it. So while I'm at the coast, I'm gonna do a quick wave check, see if there's anything worth riding. First, we're gonna go fishing. He's getting antsy, so I'm gonna take him to the DP. So I'm gonna go check the waves real quick, see if there's anything worth riding before we go fishing, and then maybe on our way back later. We're gonna ride some waves. A little breezy, there's some waves. So there is a little bit of a wave right now, um, definitely rideable. Not gonna paddle out just yet. First we're gonna go fishing, then I'm gonna bring Coda over to the dog park, let him run himself wild, because he's been uh, at the house for the last four or five hours by himself. So we're gonna let him have a good time for a little bit and then we're gonna go out there ourselves and catch some waves. Yew! So I love having Coda out with me on the road, bringing him on all these adventures. But when I come to places like this out west, there is a very, very serious alligator problem. Not a problem, they're out here. There's an alligator threat. And one of the scariest things that I can think of is having him is run, getting hooked, with a hook is having him just bolt from the car and just run right for the water. I don't think it would be more than 30 seconds before an alligator came up and snatched him. So I, I'm going to keep him in the car while I go fishing. I got the AC running. It's freezing in here right now. I could almost see my breath. Be right back, Coda. That's the gator path right here. You can see they run along the whole edge here. Which is why I will not let the dog out here. I don't know if you can see him on here, but right to the left of those pat, those lily pads, big old alligator. There were no fish biting, saw one alligator, 
tried to get my drone to uh, fly next to him, but by the time I got it up and out, he was already in the bushes. I tried searching for about five minutes in the thick of the weed there, and no luck. Code has been moaning a little bit with anxiety because I had him in the car for a little bit, so we're gonna go take him to the dog park, let him run around with a bunch of other dogs. Should be a good time. Dog park? You wanna go to the dog park? Yeah, let's go. Where are we, puppy? Where are we? So yes, there's snakes and alligators everywhere in Florida. It's still pretty though. You just can't let your dog off the leash. He's too excited. It is so super windy. But I'm gonna get the drone up. Keep it only like 10 feet. Get some shots. So I just got home, and I'm gonna do something that I'm a little better at than fishing this time. Let's go check it out. surfing not so fun that seaweed a lot of fun but disgusting so disgusting I got so much in my pants still uh.